I definitely do recommend these five assault rifles. And then we also do have a bonus one because we got to pay homage to it. I'll keep that a secret. Uh, but for now, these are going to be optional. You can use whatever you want to as far as my secondary, tactical, lethal, etc. Use whatever you want to. It's all personal preference. Now, let's go ahead and start off with the TAC-56, mainly because since rank play came out, it is just so popular, right? So I'm sure a lot of people are just practicing in multiplayer, trying to use it and whatnot. I am using the Komodo Heavy for my muzzle. And for the tuning, I went with 0.28 towards aim down side speed and 0.25 towards that aiming auto stability. And for the underbarrel, we got the FSS Sharkfin 9.0. Yes, you heard me right. The FSS Sharkfin 9.0 for multiplayer. The main reason is because, you know what? I, I figured, okay, let's try to keep our aim down sight as fast as we humanly possibly can okay this is multiplayer it's a lot faster it's a lot faster pace there's a lot more people to deal with uh so i figured you know what this could actually still be effective in multiplayer and the only reason why people use it in ranked play is because it's literally a free attachment with zero cons to it however in multiplayer we can actually tune it so this is what i'm personally running with for my tuning i went with 0.10 towards that recoil stabilization and 0.17 towards that aim walking speed all right next up we have the demo clean shot grip for for my rear grip and for my tuning i went with 0.39 towards that recoil steadiness and a 0.39 towards that aiming auto stability now for my stock so the stock is optional you can use whatever you want so you can either go with the tv cardinal stock or the tv x line pro it's really up to you whatever you prefer now for my tuning on the tv cardinal stock i went with 1.81 towards that aim walking steadiness and 2.01 towards that aiming auto stability all right and for the laser we have the fss ov laser this gives us literally free aim downside speed aiming stability as well as sprint to fire speed dude this is just awesome what you can get with a laser uh, and then for my tuning i went with 0 0.40 towards that sprint to fire speed and 26.32 feet towards that aim downside speed all right so i just want to do a quick demonstration of what this looks like man dude this is really cracked aim right here for the tag 56 this is pretty crazy uh for an assault rifle and it's also a very consistent and easy to use assault rifle no matter what range it is but the ranges that i do prefer you guys to use it is up to mid range so that's about maybe 35 to 40 meters this guy back here he's about like 55 meters or so that's pretty far in my opinion for engagements for at least the maps that we have in multiplayer but regardless it is still definitely doable if you need to engage in a gunfight uh from those ranges so yeah, pretty, pretty awesome assault rifle class setup for the TAC-56. All right, next up, we have the ISO Hemlock. This is the new kid in town right here. So the ISO Hemlock, this is my new updated setup for Season 2 Reloaded. Uh, now for my muzzle, I went with the FTAC Castle Comp. And for my tuning, I went with 0.49 towards that aim down side speed and 0.19 towards that aiming auto stability. And then for my rear grip, I went with the X10 grip and we have 0.39 towards recoil steadiness and 0.17 towards that sprint to fire speed. And for my stock, I went with the Arcom S4 stock. And for tuning, I went with aim walking steadiness at 3.23 and 1.86 towards that aiming auto stability. All right, now for my optic, I am using the Cronin Mini Pro. So for my aim down side speed, I went with negative three. And then for my far, I went with negative 2.25 now for my laser i went with the fss ov laser once again and we have 0 0.40 towards that sprint of fire speed and 41.13 towards that aim down side speed so here's a quick demonstration of the hemlock you know what i really like this a lot better uh with the cronin mini pro it just seems just a lot more easier to use in my opinion like dude this is this is pretty solid and a fun fact about the iso hemlock is that it has the same exact ttk as the cast off 762 which has 200 millisecond time to kill pretty much up to about 34 meters we're gonna get into the actual stats in a little bit uh but needless to say the iso hemlock is definitely a very 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 good gun to use and yeah you should definitely try this class setup out as well perfect balance between ads and obviously recoil control as well it's so satisfying to use it definitely try this out all right and next up we have the cast of 545 this has a very very fast ttk at 184 millisecond time to kill so for my muzzle i'm using the komodo heavy and for my tuning, I went with 0.57 towards that aim down sight speed and 0.18 towards that aiming auto stability. And for my rear grip, I went with the Demo X2 grip. For my tuning, I went with 0.71 towards aim down sight speed and 0.42 towards that aiming auto stability. For my stock, I went with the Prolite TL3 stock. 
For my tuning, I went with 3.35 ounces for that aim walking steadiness and 0.77 towards that aiming auto stability. And for the laser, of course, you guessed it, the FSS OV laser, sprint to fire speed at 0.45 and aim down sight speed at 37.84. And last but not least, we have the Castovia 406 barrel. So this is something new that I'm rocking in season two reloaded. And for this tuning, I went with 0.27 towards that aim walking speed and 0.08 towards that aim down sight speed. Now, the reason why I'm using this is because the cast off 545 has a fast TTK of 184 milliseconds up to 24 meters. However, when we do use this attachment, this increases our damage range of TTK up to about 27 meters. So this is definitely worth it in my opinion, especially for multiplayer. So you should definitely try it out. All right, next up, we have the cast off 762. So the 762, undoubtedly my favorite assault rifle in the game, mainly because it has a TTK that is consistent no matter where you hit your opponent at ridiculously long ranges. And the headshots are absolutely brutal as well. You get a two shot headshot up to about uh, 40 meters or so, which is absolutely insane. Uh, for the underbarrel, I'm going with the Schlager Tango underbarrel. And for my tuning, I went with 0.49 towards hip walking speed and 0.28 towards that aim down sight speed. Now for my muzzle, I went with the lock shot KT85. And for my tuning, I went with point 0.54 towards aim down side speed and 0.10 towards aiming auto stability. Now for my rear grip, I went with the true tech grip and for tuning, I went with 0.77 towards recoil steadiness and 0.35 towards aiming auto stability. Now for the stock, we're going with the ProLite TL3 stock and for my tuning, I went with 3.10 ounces towards aim walking steadiness and 2.01 towards that aiming auto stability. And for the laser, we got the FSS OV laser once again, 0.31 towards sprint to fire speed and 13.16 towards that aim down side speed. So the cast off 762 undoubtedly my favorite weapon in season two reloaded I, I don't know when it will not ever be my favorite weapon uh right now the 545 is definitely competing with it but as it stands for multiplayer definitely have to lean towards the 762 i just really love it man you'll definitely see later in the stats next up we have the m13b i know this is a surprise but the m13b was buffed and now this has a faster ttk than the M4. So there's absolutely no reason to use the M4 in season two because M13 has a faster TTK. You know, it is definitely better. So why would we use the M4 when we have a faster TTK assault rifle like the M13? So this definitely makes it viable. So for my muzzle, I'm using the X10 ported 290. And for my tuning, I went with 0.10 and right there in the middle. And then for my aiming idle stability, I went with 0.25. And for my underbarrel, I went with the Schlager Tango once again. And for my hip walking speed, I went with 0.57. And for my aim down sight speed, I went with 0.25. All right, now for my rear grip, I'm using the Bruin flash grip. We have 0 0.90 towards recoil steadiness and 0.38 towards that aiming auto stability. Now for my stock, I went with the Bruin flash V4 stock. Now keep in mind, you can't actually tune this, but this gives us sprint speed, aim walking speed, crash movement speed, and aim down sight speed. All right, now for the laser, we have the VLK laser seven milliwatt. And for tuning, I went with 0.44 towards that sprint to fire speed and 27.97 feet towards that aim down sight speed. So I just want to do a quick demonstration of how well this class setup is and how the M13 is now in season two. So the thing about the M13 that you have to realize is that when you go out to farther ranges, it becomes less effective, mainly because it has a very high fire rate. So you have to keep that in mind. So don't be using this at very long ranges. At best, you want to go mid range, you know, right about here. And you know that this guy in the middle right here is about 25 meters. So that's pretty much the typical range that we get in these maps that we have available to us in season two anyway. Uh, so yeah, definitely a much more viable weapon in season two. All right, last but not least, our bonus class setup. We cannot leave out the cast off 74U. This gun is an absolute beast, man. I feel like it's been just so forgotten. Uh, you know, I can't really pinpoint why, but not a lot of people talk about it too much anymore these days. Uh, so for my muzzle, I went with the X10 ported 290. And for my aim down side speed, I went with 0.44 ounces. And aiming out of stability, I went with 0.23 inches. And for the underbarrel, uh, this is the same theme that I went with for the TAC 56. I wanted to reduce the amount of cons as much as I possibly can. So that's why I went with this underbell right here. And for my tuning, I went with 0.52 towards aim down sight speed and 0.06 towards that aim walking speed. Now for my rear grip, I went with the true tack. And for my tuning, I went with 0.71 ounces towards recoil steadiness and 0.36 towards that aiming auto stability. Now for the stock, I'm going with the Otrazat stock. So I kept the tuning neutral on our aim walking steadiness and aim down sight speed. However, I did increase that aiming auto stability and, and put it at two 
2.09. And last but not least, we have the FSS OV Laser for my 291 with 0.37 towards sprint to fire speed and 21.39 towards that aim down side speed. So one thing I do have to say real quick about the 74U is that this is going to be best used up close. So this is literally like a mini SMG uh, for very, very small maps. It's kind of a shame that it's not available in ranked play. I mean, look how good this gun is. It's got an incredibly fast TTK, uh, much faster than the 545. Ah, can we get that last guy? Yes, we can. But yeah, at longer ranges, you know, 55 meters out, definitely not going to be viable. Uh, you still can definitely drop people. Oh my goodness, man. Ugh, just straight up headshots all day. Ah, yes, we got him. Yeah, very addicting to use. Such a fun weapon. Definitely try this class setup out when you get a chance. Oh, baby, let's go. All right, so let's do a quick overview of the assault rifles that I just recommended to you and why they are the fastest killing guns in the game right now for Season 2 Reloaded. So let's go ahead and isolate the M13B. So the M13B has a TTK of 213 millisecond time to kill up to this 32 meter range. Now let's go ahead and add in the M4. Okay, just so we can see a comparison of what I mean here. So the M4 is right here in this uh, pink color right there at 222 millisecond up to this 26 meters. Then as we get farther, the TTK becomes slower for the M4 at 296 versus the M13 at 213. So there's a pretty huge difference there. I know this is a very small gap here as far as uh, where the time to kill differences are for damage range drop offs. But I mean, on paper. M13, 213 versus 222. One could definitely say it is competitive, but nonetheless, this is a huge buff to the M13. So you should definitely use the M13. All right, now as far as the rest of the assault rifles go, as you see here, man, it is so competitive with the cast off 74U, the cast off 762, the cast off 545, and also the ISO hemlock. Okay, the ISO hemlock on paper is going to have the slowest TTK at 200 milliseconds. And you see the list right here 200 milliseconds. We got 184, 200, 184, and then 213, and then 192 for the TAC 56. So, TAC 56, cast off 74U, cast off 505, and then the 762, and the Hemlock, and then the M13. So, these are the fastest killing guns in the game right now. And the most range that you're going to get right here is going to be with the 762 up to this 41 meter range for this TTK of 200 versus the rest. As you see, they are a lot slower. And then the next best thing for range is going to be the ISO Hemlock. As I was saying, it has the same TTK and also very great range up to 38 meters for this TTK, especially when you compare it to other assault rifles that all the way up here. I mean, there's a huge gap in difference right there. This is why the Hemlock is such a really great weapon. Same thing with the 762. Let's go ahead and switch this to headshot shots real quick let's see who the real winners are all right so the 74u obviously definitely has to take the cake here 92 millisecond ttk for the headshot absolutely disgusting and then second best is going to be the 762 at 100 milliseconds which is very very competitive make no mistake it's only an eight millisecond difference and it actually has a farther range so you can definitely maximize your potential with the ttk of the headshot with the 762 so the 762 and the 74u definitely going to be the best here now as far as the rest they are all very competitive but we do have the 545 leading the way at 184 milliseconds with the longest damage range drop off as well and then we have the TAC 56 and then as well as the ISO Hemlock and then last but not least we have the M13B. Now let's take a look at the lower torso shots. Again we have the winners at the Hemlock and the Cast Off 762 with the fastest TTKs with the longest ranges down here and then up here we have the rest of the assault rifles. Now let's take a look at the limbs. Now for the limbs. This is exactly why I was saying the 762 is the ultimate meta mainly because it's just so forgiving man. You don't it doesn't matter where you aim at the, your opponent. You can aim at their limbs you can aim at their torso you can aim at their chest head whatever you're still gonna get a pretty consistent ttk and also you've got the longest range uh pretty much uh for these uh torso shots as well as head shots which is the largest percentage area of the character's body that you are most likely to hit regardless so that's why i really like the 762 but you let me know down below in the comments if you think that you believe that another weapon here is definitely going to take the cake for the meta as far as all arounder and most reliable but for me cast off 762 definitely takes the cake there guys hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video make sure to leave a like if you did learn something and found this video helpful i'd really appreciate it and also comment down below what are your top five fastest killing assault rifles in the game right now i'd be really interested to hear your thoughts and i'll see you guys in the next one